Okay, uh, so Ben, let's talk about how to measure the efficiency of your solar charging system. Okay. Right? So, to describe it, you've got a solar panel. Right? And it's got plus and minus compatible. Uh -huh. And black. And then you've got a charge circuit. Right? Yeah. And then you've got a minty boost. You've got a phone. And then you've also got a battery. You agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, ignoring this part of the circuit, um, first thing I'm going to suggest is we want to connect these all to ground. And when I say that, this is the minus, and this is battery minus. When I say that, that basically means these are all connected. This is connected to this, is connected to this. Okay. So then we can say all the black wires are connected. And that just kind of simplifies our drawing. Sure. And what we do is we say, okay, solar power, power plus, and then we have uh, plus in, and then we have plus out. Solar power plus, we want to deliver to here, right? And then charge circuit out goes to that plus. And in this case, it's putting battery power in, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is, at the very simplest, everything you need to charge battery with solar power. Okay. Okay? And let's say you want to measure the efficiency. With, with alternative energy, it's all about efficiency. So um, we want to know how much power the solar panel is producing and delivering to the charge circuit and how much power the battery is accepting. And so if you remember from our lecture, um, we have two key equations, V equals IR and P equals IV. Voltage, current, resistance, power, current, voltage. So if we want to know the amount of power going in here and the amount of power going here, we need to know current and voltage. So the way we do that, voltage is easy. We take our DMM, our voltmeter, and we just probe from here to here. Just like you did when you were checking your minty boost to make sure it was outputting 5 volts. Same thing. And we can do the same thing here. We can take a voltmeter and connect it like that. Um, actually, let me use another color, so this, this is going to get confusing very quickly. So for the measurement stuff, let's say I'll use green. Right? And then we use voltmeter. And we'll call this V1, and we'll call this V2. So we're using a voltmeter to measure both of those. Okay. So we got V, but we need I. And you can't measure I so easily. The reason is you have to have something to, you have to change the path of the current to measure it all going through it, right? Think of it like if water was flowing through a pipe, you can't look at the pipe and tell, you, tell how much it's flowing. You have to interrupt it and measure everything going through it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna interrupt it here. We're gonna disconnect it, which involves, for that solar panel, involves cutting the solar panel wire separating the red and black uh -huh. and cutting the red wire okay. and interrupting. So you're going to cut the red wire and you're going to put your current system through like that. So now you have the DMM in current mode and you have to be careful because you have to put it, you have to put the lead into a different spot, into the 10 amp spot. So now you've got the current all flowing through this wire. And now we know how much voltage there is and we know how much current there is. We're using two DMMs for this. One here and one here. DMM being digital multimeter. You okay. can measure voltage, current, resistance, lots of things. So we, this one's in voltage mode, measuring voltage. This one's in current mode with the leads in the right place, measuring current. And then I can take my solar panel and my charge circuit and my battery outside, put it in the sun, and I can measure voltage and current. And then I can calculate the power. And we'll call this I1. Right? 
So then you can say power from solar to battery, oh, I'm sorry, from solar to charger equals V1 times I1. Follow me? Yeah, okay. Voltage and that. current? Mm -hmm. Power. Good. Okay, now we've got the amount of power going into the charge circuit. We want to know the amount of power going into the battery. And so we've already got voltage. We have V2. Mm -hmm. Once again, we have to interrupt this the same way We interrupted this one. Same deal. So how am I going to calculate the power from charger to battery? Um, what would be the equation? Wouldn't it be just the V is equal to I times R? So we want to know the power. Oh, sorry, it's I times V then. I times V, but which I and which V? Um, I2 and V2. I2 and V2, exactly. Okay, so we know the power going in to the system from the solar panel, and we know the power going into the battery from the system. So that means we can calculate the efficiency. I'm never been good at writing Greek symbols, but that's new for efficiency. Equals P out over P in. So this, in this scenario, this is the power coming in from solar. And this is the power going out to the battery. Okay. So this system that we have here, we can calculate P out over P in equals efficiency. And we'll get something like, I don't know, 80%. That's just a guess. Could be 90, could be 70, I don't know. Uh-huh. And this number will change as the solar panel gets different sun and as the battery goes from empty to full. Okay. Okay. Why wouldn't you just like average the two instead of why would you divide it rather than because um, this is the amount of power you're getting out, uh -huh. and this is the amount you're getting in, and by definition, you're going to get less power out than in, because you can't create energy from nothing. Yeah. So this conversion, this charge circuit, what this is doing is taking the solar panel's voltage, which could be anywhere from like 4 to 6. This solar panel could be 4 to 6, or even maybe 7. This battery requires a very specific charge signal. Basically, it wants to get... Um, no more than 4.2 volts ever. And it wants to get no more than X amps. I'm not sure what the amps are, but it, it wants to have a very controlled system. And you can look up online how lithium ion batteries want to be charged. Mm -hmm. But it needs a very specific charge delivery. We couldn't plug the battery directly in the solar panel because the battery would probably catch on fire. Like, oh, okay. Because this thing delivers six volts, and he never, under any circumstance, wants more than 4.2. Okay. So we need this charge circuit to basically convert the solar power, voltage, and current into something that the battery can accept. Oh, okay. So if the battery is sitting at like 3.2 volts, if the battery is pretty low, this charge circuit is going to take the 6 volts that this is getting and convert it into whatever voltage and current that the battery needs at that point. And that's the whole point of this charge circuit. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, that does. Yeah. Okay. Now, we have, this is in to the system. Let's talk about coming out of the system. So this, once you have this all done, you should take a video explaining exactly what I explained here and talking about what your efficiency is. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Like that would be, that'd be a solid video. Next, you want to talk about going from battery, so you want to, charging battery is useless until you put it to some use, put yeah. energy to some use. So we want to use this battery, use your Minty Boost, which you've already built for your starter project, and send it to your phone. So this is USB, right? Yeah. USB. But I'm going to approximately, I'm going to say there is a minus and a plus. There are three other wires in USB, but those are all related to data. So we can ignore them. We're just dealing with power. Okay. But this would be a USB cable that you're using. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to rip this apart like we ripped those apart. Okay. So the Minty Boost has plus N and minus N. And I'm going to, similar to all these guys, I'm going to ground, um, I'm using the wrong colors here, hang on. Well, 
I'm going to ground this guy, and I'm going to ground this guy. So there is a wire going from here to here to here to here to here. I'm okay. going to draw that later, but I don't want to have to draw that spaghetti wire. Right yeah. Now. And then this battery output, you'll notice that there's only two wires coming out of the battery. So we're going to have to figure out a way to send battery power from the battery to the Minty Boost. And right now, I'll just draw it as if we're pulling off the same wire. Does that make sense? So this, this node, this input is connected to this battery plus is connected to this output positive. Right? Because you're going to send power in this way and you're going to send power out this way. Okay. There are many different ways we can connect this wire to here, mm -hmm. depending on whatever battery charge you have, but ultimately that's what needs to happen. Okay. Okay? So then we've got our charge circuit, or we're not using our charge circuit, we've got our battery, our minty boost, and our phone. And we want to do the exact same thing we did on the way out. So this is the power source now, and this is the power target. So can you tell me what I need to measure? Um, the current and the voltage. Where? Uh, well, the voltage is just connecting, or just looking at the plus and minus. Like. Right, so we've got that. We'll do this, we'll call this V3, and we'll measure plus or minus lead here. And then the current, um, you need to break up the wire. Right. To see, how, oh yeah. That's so it. we want to see how much current is, we'll call this I3. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Is this all the measurements we need to take? No, you still need to do it for the USB cord. Yes, exactly. So we're going to want to make our voltage measurement here, and our, we'll call this V4, and we'll call this I4, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now how can I calculate the, the power from um, battery to um, the boost? How can I calculate that? Um. You can do, let's see, what would it be? Uh, V3 times I3. V3 times I3. So you're saying this voltage times this current. That's the power going from the battery to the minty boost. Mm -hmm. Bingo. Now we want to know power from boost to phone. Um, How do I calculate that? Well, it'd just be I4 times I4. Right. Times I4. Right? So you get the power going here. Okay, and then how can I calculate the efficiency of our boost? Uh, you take um, the power from, or yeah, the power from the battery to the minty boost and divide it by the minty boost, or uh, the power going from the minty boost to the phone. Is so you want, we'll call, we'll call this P4, and we'll call this P3. So, how do you want this equation to go? Wouldn't it be P3 divided by P4? So, from the battery to the boost, I know that this is going to consume some energy. There's mm -hmm. going to be some loss. So, from the battery to the boost, um, that will be more than this, right? Yeah. So, that means if P3 is more than P4, that means you'll have an efficiency of oh, 100%. Oh, shoot. No, sorry. It's the other way. P4 divided by P3. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Right. And then, do you need to s calculate the efficiency of the minty boost of the phone, or, that's or how much you lost? That's what we just did. Oh, really? Yeah, because you uh, have P four. This is how much power is going from minty boost to phone. Uh huh. And P three is how much is going from battery to minty boost. Oh, uh, okay. So you know the amount of power that the minty boost gets, and you know the amount of power the minty boost gives, and whatever the power the minty boost hangs on to is loss, is efficiency loss. Okay, that makes sense. There's a difference there. And that's what, it's a percentage different, and that's what we want to calculate. Okay. Okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some clarifications real quick, because I'm concerned that there's, every time we do this stuff, um, there's concerns about how to hook it up. Mm -hmm. So I can, first I'm gonna draw this ground. You need to make sure that there is a wire going 
like all of these guys are somehow connected together. Okay. And there's many ways you can do that. For instance, you have a solar panel that plugs right into your battery charger. Yeah. So both of these will plug in to this. There's a, um, a plug that has both positive and negative. And that already inside here already connects this negative to this negative. See, so you, but you'd still need to cut it up there, right? To yeah, you'll, need to, you'll still need to cut the positive one up, but right. you won't need to add a wire. This blue wire right here, you won't need to have because its connector goes in and it's got, it's, it's got like one connector that has both of these minus in. Oh, both of okay. these. Same thing with the battery. The battery, doesn't have, the battery has two wires, but it's got a nice connector that can connect right to your charge circuit. Oh. So the battery has, that's plus out, it also has minus out. And these two things are already connected. Okay. Right, those negatives are already connected. Um, so then you wouldn't, need, you wouldn't need another wire. Um, and then for the Minty Boost, you'll want to make sure you're connecting the negative pin to here. Ooh, okay. This is getting to be spaghetti, and that's why I didn't want to, that's why I wanted to draw these little ground symbols. Yeah. Because this is getting confusing now. Okay. There's one more thing I want to go over, and that's if you look on your charge circuit, most charge circuits have another pin that you can solder directly to. So you could take your Minty Boost red and black wires, um, and you could solder them directly to the board. Okay. Right? Yeah. If you were to do that, you're not connecting it to the battery. Well, in reality, you are, because the little connector here just connects directly here. Okay. Right? So your battery only has to get plugged in in one place, but your Minty Boost connects to the same place on the board that your battery connects to. Okay. That can be confusing. So uh, if, you're, if you're worried about the way things are connected, draw a schematic. Try to implement it. Uh -huh. Don't plug your battery in if you're concerned about it. You can just leave it unplugged, but you can solder everything up, and then have an instructor check it. Okay, that sounds good. Um, but making sure all these things are connected can be confusing. The other thing that can be confusing is I2. If you, don't ha if you have a solar panel plugged in and no Minty Boost plugged in, I2 is the same as I3 if you don't have a solar panel plugged in and you have a Minty Boost plugged in. Uh -oh. Because the power all comes down to here when you're uh, charging, okay. and it all comes up through here when you're delivering to the Minty Boost. Huh. So that can be a little confusing. Um, there are multiple ways you can deal with that. Um, measuring the current here with I3 and measuring it in different places is fine. Or you can measure it in one place, because then you don't have to cut this wire. You just have to cut this one. Uh -huh. It's all a possibility. It's up to you. Ooh, okay. But you, you want to make sure you're being mindful of what you're measuring and if it makes sense relative to this. Okay. Yeah, it sounds good. And then to measure the current, you just use this here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so do you need to use like multiple of these, or do you? Just yeah, you'll want to use two of those because you'll want to get this voltage and current at the same time. Okay. And you'll want to get this voltage and current at the same time, and this voltage. You want to get all of them at the same time, because P equals V times I. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're taking measurements and like a little cloud comes by and you take current measurements, your system's changed. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you want to get them at the same time. All right, that sounds good. Can okay. you take a picture of that?